What a weight contest. First round, first series between Steve Cooney of Scotland, number 106 in the white shorts and the famous green boots, and Tupu Abatonga. And with a name like that, could he come with anywhere else but Tonga? Tupu Abatonga, who already has got the crowd buzzing with a most warrior like stance and not much else. He really does look uh, a little crude to say the least. An 18 year old planter trying to plant one on Steve Cooney from St. Francis. <laughs> My goodness, he did as well. Referee Mr. Lowe's of Canada says, uh, watch the way you do it. And that is a most remarkable opponent, Mr. Avatonga. He's got uh, a grin or a grimace, and he's after the big bombers straight away. Steve Cooney is a bit of a hustler and a bustler. When he really gets to work, he can uh, produce some pretty fiery action himself. But this one's really got him thinking. First round. I don't think it appears in the book, but it's interesting. I think Cooney thinks he wants him to dance, actually. Well, the crowd don't like it. They don't like the referee telling him to stop it because it's a nice bit of entertainment. Mr. Tupu Abatonga from Tonga will be remembered. Must be pretty effective because he's won 16 out of his 18 fights like this. You can imagine what's going through Steve Cooney's mind at the moment. He's come a long, long way from Scotland all the way up to Christchurch, New Zealand. And that's the first uh, opponent he faces in the boxing ring. He must really think it is a different world completely. I haven't seen the Tongan boxers before in any Commonwealth Games. I think this fellow might get a return booking. Cooney lets himself get involved with that sort of uh, attack. He really should uh, be doing something more about it. End of the first round, and that is just about the most remarkable first round of boxing <laughs> that I've seen and many people have seen in a long, long time. Steve Cooney and Mr. Abatonga from Tonga. Tupu Abatonga, contestant number 121 in the welterweight division of the 10th Commonwealth Games here in Christchurch, New Zealand. Steve Cooney looking a bit bemused as he might well be. Second round in this rather remarkable welterweight contest between Steve Cooney from Scotland, number 106, and the Tongan, Mr. Tupu Avatonga, who has spent uh, the first round certainly uh, entertaining the Christchurch crowd and attempting in very devious uh, manner to land a big punch on the frame of Mr. Cooney. Remarkable little man he is. Steve Cooney's had a very good season. Won a Scottish Vest against England at Bournemouth in October and outpointed Ken Salisbury. One against Ireland in Edinburgh in December and also beat the veteran George McKenzie in the Commonwealth Games trials. Wearing, as ever, his famous green boots. But 
Cooney was cheeky enough to wear the green boots when he fought against Ireland. about a minute and a half gone in the second round and Cooney really has got to stamp his authority on this pretty quickly clipping him now with a left hand and a right there isn't very much to this uh, Tongan and he's almost through the ropes almost through the top and second rope really can't go on a lot longer keep your head up but he's having a bit of difficulty with uh, Cooney hitting him like that and he's going again goes down this time in the neutral corner Mr. Lowe's of Canada taking a bit of a careful look at him there's a look at his eyes wipes his gloves says yes it can go on Two minutes, 30 gone in the second round. Well, Tongan's out to gain experience in uh, top competition. He's doing that, and he's given us something to remember, I think. Close the glove. going to make the end of the second that's it end of the second run and still the brave little Tongan is there I can imagine Steve Cooney from the St Francis Club this 19 year old plumber saying what do I do about this and he's hit him with just about everything you can find last three minutes in this welterweight contest in the first series between Scotland Steve Cooney and the remarkable little man Tupu Avatonga from Tonga who has entertained the crowd got them buzzing has thrown punches from all angles has tried every little trick in the book has gone down once in the second round and looked to be in danger of not making the end of the second and the referee says just calm it down a little bit but he's so eager to get in I think Mr. Lowe's of Canada could be in danger because he's on the warpath again. He's a little bit shorter than Cooney, and he leapt completely off his feet there in a great effort to get a punch in. That's the third time he's gone through the ropes. He's so short, he only has to duck half an inch, and he's through the top rope. halfway through the last round Cooney obviously knows he's got this sewn up unless he lands really into one of the great Tongan haymakers of all time I don't know if there's a prize for the most popular loser here in Christchurch, but this little number 121's a candidate in my book. Watch the shoulder. He's 
probably thinking he's tried both hands. He doesn't try anything else. Just a few seconds left. I think we should pay a little credit to Cooney. A difficult situation for a man coming like this far in an important competition and finding himself in a ring with a man like this. And he has handled it very well indeed. But those cheers are from Mr. Abatonga, I'm quite sure. Steve Cooney has got that one and is through to the quarterfinals and must about to be the most remarkable bout of his career.